Hey friends, so I have about a lot of advice around here, but none more important than this. And it's something I've said before, but it's worth repeating as much as possible. The best thing you can ever do for yourself is own your shit. This is the key to personal freedom because when you own your shit and you embrace your shortcomings, there is no one in the world that can hold that over you. Admitting there's a problem is halfway to a solution, right? That's how you make change. That's how you become better. And while you're at it, I think it's an excellent idea to encourage those around you to own their shit too. Because let's face it, blaming everyone else for all of the things that go wrong in your life is not sexy. Always being the victim is not sexy. Being a terrible person to someone else who did nothing wrong to you because you haven't healed your traumas is not sexy. But you know what is sexy? Apologizing <laughs> and admitting when you're wrong. Owning your screw-ups. Having personal accountability. Making amends with people who are important to you that you hurt. Acknowledging when you have made a bad choice and understanding that ultimately it's up to you to fix it. This is very difficult for many people to do and you may ask, what's the big deal? Isn't that their problem? And yeah, it is. But when you have to deal with those people or be in a relationship of any kind with them, that problem ends up rubbing off on you in some way, even when it's small, even if you don't want it to. We spend so much time sometimes carrying around these heavy things that don't actually even belong to us. It's exhausting and it's terrible for your mental health. So as the message says, if people can't keep it real with themselves, there's no way they're going to keep it real with you either. You can go from being friend, relative, partner, or whatever you are to them to bad guy, or whatever you wanna call it, real fast. Because that's what perpetual victims do. Nothing can ever be their fault, so they have to find someone else to blame, and if you happen to be conveniently there, well, then you already know the rest. Stop accommodating people who do this to you. Stop cleaning up their messes or making excuses for them or allowing yourself to be their problem, punching bag or whatever you're doing. It's draining and it's not actually helping them anyway. The sad reality is that sometimes people absolutely have to get that net yanked out from under them to have a reality check. They need to lose a real one in whatever capacity you are that to them to realize that you can't burn bridges with people and then expect them to send you a rescue boat. Personal accountability is not easy, but it is liberating. Not everyone will want to have that level of honesty with themselves. You can't expect them to, but you can choose if you wanna have them around you. They might not wanna keep it real with you, but you can always have the option to keep it real with yourself and walk away. That's all I've got for you this week, and chewy too. I'll be back next week with another priority message. Until then, take good care of yourselves. Bye.